and hello to my viewers. And here we are, back in Rise of Flight, and let's see what our next sortie brings us. Um, this looks like a defensive patrol. Uh, Macraft Albatross D3 airbase, alright, everything stays the same. Primary, primary objective, patrol airspace near lands. Oh yeah, we know lands by now. Engage any enemy aircraft you encounter, reconnaissance and artillery spotting aircraft are primary target. Carl Schäfer and Franz von Schäfer. Um, oh well, something changed. Uh, because Mr. Commander Manfred von Richthofen got very interested in us because we were doing so many kills in so little time. Um, that's why he decided to join us in this frail. And now we are flying together with the Red Baron. <laughs> I love that you can do that actually. Okay. And I see you guys in mission. And hello and welcome to the hangar, friends of the Flying Circus. So, um, I want to take 100% fuel this time, because when I'm flying defensive, it could happen that I have to be in a mission for a very long time, until I happen to meet our enemies. So it looks like we are patrolling on our side, which is helpful if I need to crash land. And uh, yeah, so we are two guys, so I don't know what I could do if um, an enemy flag is showing up. There are just two or three arrows I could deal with it. Deal, not deal. <laughs> but if there are more than that, oh, it can get problematic. Okay, everything working. Okay, radiator works. This makes an interesting noise, never noticed it. Okay. And there he is. Mr. Manfred von Richthofen. Also known as the Red Baron and his favorite aircraft. And he gives me the go sign. So I will ignite my engine. Um, my mouse is doing weird stuff. And he's starting, so I will start immediately. How's the wind looking? Uh, okay, we got wind in our back, so it might take us a bit longer to get off the runway. But should be alright, I guess. And my mouse is going on and off. I need to care about that because I can't look around if my mouse isn't working. And that could lead to all sorts of problems. Better now. Looks like it. Alright, um, let's phone the good old Manfred around. I don't think that the German called him the Red Baron. I think that was a British thing to do. For everyone else, he was just the Rittmeister Manfred von Richthofen. Oh, by the way, I played a bit around with my gang recording, so I hope my voice is a bit clearer now. I guess I will find out when the mission is over. So let's hope Mr. Manfred is surviving this mission. Because it would be a shame if he will die with me because I'm not helping him enough or shit like that. <laughs> Sorry for the swearing. Thing done.
There he is. In all his might. Okay, she's not that mightful at uh, this time. But he still has an impressive. Uh, he, he already, not still, he already has an impressive kill count. And I don't think that this will change in the near future. I guess the game is programmed in a way on which he will come back with more kills every time. Oh god! My radiator. I totally forgot about my radiator. I just saw the heat flimmering. And I thought to myself, oh god, something is wrong here. Uh, it looks to be okay. It seems to be okay. Alright. Okay, let's close it a bit. Hey, when I was playing around with it earlier, I left it closed. Which was obviously not a good idea. <laughs> Um, actually, I just found out when I was playing earlier in the multiplayer that um, the game is modeling the, the um, it's propeller me in German, and I <laughs> right now can't find out what's what we call in English. But uh, wind um, behaves differently if you are fly. Uh, behind uh, enemy, uh, no, not uh, even enemy, but if you are flying behind a plane, it just, everything behaves differently. It's a bit like a wind shadow, but also something else entirely, because a propeller isn't like a car. In a car you have the wind shadow behind the car, in which there's no wind because you all already have the plane in front of you. But the pillar is um, accelerating the wind in a circular motion. And because the plane is, has a shape, um, shaped in a way that the wind will just um, fly behind the plane. I'm not good enough at talking. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's hard to explain. That's basically the, the propeller is doing this motion with the wind and if you are behind a, a plane, you will get the motion in your face. And that's why the air will no longer push you up and it will start to push you around, which you obviously don't want to happen. I'm talking way too much. I <laughs> see. I see you when something happens. <laughs> so I have arrived. On the front. Uh, it's 2.45 at the moment. But I hope something will happen. So I can show my body here how good I am. <laughs> I like that it's actually modeled in that your engine will cut out. Ooh, what's this? Are we engaging and I haven't even noticed? This looks like it. Oh man, not giving up a good first impression here. Looks like these are British Newports, which are a bit like the French Newports. 17th, only that the Brit ones have Lewis guns mounted to their top deck instead of just a regular machine gun on top of the machine. Not on top of the machine, but in front of the machine. Like I have. Hello! You haven't seen me coming, did you? Alright, Manfred, I'm making it up again.
actually let's watch uh, sex a bit better here. Okay, my fate is taking care of this one, so I will try to get on his sex. Too bad, oh, I was in a good position. Like, not really, but <laughs> I was about to get in a good position. Um, these new parts are much more maneuverable than I am. So I need, I need to close my radiator again. Um, so I need to rely on my speed here. Sorry about this, was just a way too good target to let go of. His body's behind me, but honestly... I think I have a good, still a good shot before he gets even in range. If he would stop tumbling around, this would be even shorter for him. Oh, the good old hammerhead maneuver. <laughs> Basically, in a hammerhead, um, you give up all your energy by flying straight upwards and bringing the enemy into a bad shooting position. And hopes that he loses his energy before you do. Because otherwise, you are just a target hanging in the air with no maneuverability. Which sucks. Okay, this is the guy I just shot at. That's so what I think it is. They are hard to tell apart from each other, but this one is a bit more smoking, so I guess he already got a hit. It looks like Manfred is with him while I'm trying to get on his sex, which I just did. So he's trying to force an overshoot every time I'm coming in, so those are noobs. Like what I'm doing is, um, I'm going in full speed, he knows that. So he just gets away in the last second. And I have to fly up a bit to lose some energy before I follow him, otherwise I will just... Uh, Take him over. And that's one that I really don't want. Because, yeah, like this. That's the worst position you could be in. Like you're just slightly faster than the enemy plane is. And you have it on your six because you just got there. Oh, that was nearly a crash. Okay, at least one of them is smoking. I guess we have Z on our side. Let's put my throttle full back up and get him from Manfred's six. He's off, Brit. This is my flying commander you're trying to shoot down. But I won't let this happen. shooting way too late. I guess the other guys on my six, but I'm a bit faster when I'm diving. Come on, come on. No. Damn it. My machine guns just jammed in <laughs> the worst possible moment. I had him perfectly in sight and only one machine gun was firing. Ouch, 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 ouch. Don't do that, please. Okay, let's turn to the left side. Um, the new port has a rotary engine. Which means it's turning in one side the whole, the whole time. 
and when I'm turning in the opposite side, um, he will have problems keeping up with my zooming speed. Where's Manfred gone? Am I alone? Has Manfred ad abandoned me? Like everyone else does. No one loves me. No, like really, he's, he's there. Like he's going home. Also, the thing is set on going home, but I'm not giving up this fight. We are in a way better position than this Brits are. One of them is smoking. I hit the other one a bit, pretty bad. Yeah, I guess we can beat him. So, let's make good of the first impression we gave them. He's burning. Boom. <laughs> I'm pretty good at letting the enemy burn, I guess. Talking about burning, my radius, <laughs> I owe. Am I smoking too? A bit. But not much. My fuel looks are right. Okay. My engine seems to have problems. But nothing major. And I got another kill. That is always good. Okay, let's try to catch the Brit out. I'm faster than he is. And also, he should be smoking. And I guess I cut forward. A bit. So here we are again. And he just turned around. Looks like he found out that he can't outsmart me. And he just decided to fight me instead. Engine sounding weird again. I don't know if you can use it in a video. My fuel is still at 100%. Something is clearly wrong here. Where is he? Has he crashed the ground? I don't know. It is hard to make out against this uneven ground. Is that him? No, it's Fleck. Also, the Fleck is everywhere, so that's not a reliable way of telling what enemy is. Is he coming in here from the sun? Is that him? No, just another puff of smoke. There seem to be a lot of puffs up there. I guess I can't find him and at some point I need to return. Maybe my engine sounds weird because I'm flying through all this dust. Okay. So I really don't want to find myself in a position where well, I'm suddenly surrounded and my engine does sound kind of weird so I'm going straight home now I don't know what happened to him he just disappeared he was behind me and then he was gone maybe he, he despawned that happens time so sometimes with this game like you're in the middle of a chase you are one meter away from him and suddenly blip, he's gone 
and most of the times that happens when your flight is going home and is landing and the flight starts to disappear and then the engagement point stops starts to disappear yeah so I'm making sure he's not creeping on my sex There's still flak going. But this could also be ambient flak. I don't know. Let's go home. Let's take a look. That's not him, that's three planes. Subwest. So it was a wise decision to go home. Yeah, and he's not to be found. Only the only the triplanes are somewhere behind me. Not somewhere, they're actually pretty close. Okay, let's bail. Because these triplanes aren't something I can deal with right now. No, I can't deal with right now. How far is the next airport? Because sometimes when you fly uh, over friendly airports, they will just shoot up a sign. Not shoot up a sign, but they will they will notice them and they will they will start fighter pilots to get your enemy. I can't tell if they are closing in, but as they definitely are chasing me. Where's this airfield? Because if they don't decide to help me out here, I'm not in a position where I can try to fight to stop a street planes. Those little guys are evil. little <laughs> and nothing little about them I seem to have given up I can't be sure let's see if I have friends around just the surface no friends starting here It's actually a bit sad that that's not modeled in. Like, I would like to just fly over my airfield here and shoot my gun to tell them, hey, there are enemies about. So could you please send someone up here? But I guess that's not an option. Well, at least the subway has given up. But still, let's land here. Because my engine is sounding weird, my wing is a bit shut up. I was looking from the side. Yeah, I have holes in it. And my fuel gauge is not moving. And when it's not moving at all, it mostly most of the time means it's not working anymore. And if I'm losing fuel without noticing, which I don't because I'm not trailing, I hope it means trailing. Because that. Uh, or venting? I guess venting is something else entirely. I can only go here by what English Let's Players are saying when they're playing this game. <laughs> and sometimes I'm not sure if the words they are saying are the correct ones. 
because I have heard the uh, sentence joining the frail a few times now. There's no airport in here. Interesting. Why is this on a map? Okay, let's go to the next one, I guess. Like, I heard uh, joining the frail a lot and... I didn't even knew what frail means. So I looked it up. Oh, I got way up north here. But yeah, I need to land. So I sucked a look it up and frail isn't meaning anything that would make sense as it was joining at that shit. Alright, I'm see you when I'm trying to land. So it looks like all the airports in this area, not the airports, landing strips, landing fields so to speak, aren't modeled anymore. Because I can see where the landing strip is, but there are no buildings. And I do hope they aren't just invisible until I crash into them, because that would count as stupid dead. And yeah, I'm not ending my Iron Man Let's Play in a stupid dead. <laughs> so I will try to land there, and if I crash into something invisible. It was just all a dream and because well, my guy was so excited to fly with Mr. Richthofen that he dreamt of it and you get the idea. So let's hope I can actually land here and it will count it landed. Oh there's some turbulence going on but so far I can handle it. Because actually around here would be the hangars. Like where those, those white things are. That's where normally the hangars are, but... For some reason I just passed three landing strips and there were no... No buildings of any sort, so... Description? Any sort? I don't know. Let's turn off the engine. And we are landed. Alright. I guess it's all right. I hope it's all right. <laughs> because this was a mere admission. I do got two kills by the game. And I'm going to claim two kills because the, this guy just disappeared and I'm pretty sure I would have been able to fight him. Okay, let's take a look at our plane here. This side looks... It, no, this is not a hit. This is a hit. I do got some hits. Let's say it this way. And this side... Uh, not seeing anything. I was looking from the outside. Oh, it's is a beautiful plane. Okay, but you see, there's some holes in it. So I do got shot up a little. Also, my engine is burnt a bit. So those black marks there are normal. Oh well, we survived and we're not trailing anything so I guess I could have flown home but it is as it is and I see you guys in the debriefing so here we are in the debriefing the debriefing guest of the debriefings so to speak Mr. Richthofen left us alone I guess he got damaged because um, my marker was set to go home and I just didn't notice it. So this was just a clear disengagement. And, but we were in a winning position, that's why I sticked around. And in the end, it paid off. Because I now can claim two Newport 7 Lewis. Or are there Brits? No. So there's Newport 7 Lewis. Okay, I submit the report. And start the debriefing. Damaged, damaged, damaged. Alright, this is what happened here. So let's 
There is no landed. Interesting enough. Manfred von Richthofen was destroyed. Oh, so he did got damaged. Alright. So stop the breathing. Uh, let's see what happened here. So, first event. What is going on? Where are we? Got damaged. <laughs> ah. Whoever thought it was a good idea to write this in Java was wrong. Okay, here we are. So, New Lands. Newport 17 got damaged by me. Got damaged by me again. That was a two pass. That were the two passes. I didn't talk that they were that good, but turns out it was. This was when this guy came up to me and shot me. Then I damaged him again. And then he burned and died. And Mann von Richthofen was destroyed, but there was no that he was damaged, so don't think it keeps record of that. And then he got destroyed. So I guess when he came up, besides me trying to shoot me, he lost something or his engine cut out. This could also be a possible. Because then the game will just assume that he's done for. Which he is. He's on the German side of things and in the middle of no man's land. No town to be around. So I guess that's what was really it for him. Went well. Say debrief was completed. And stuff happened. Things happened. Okay. Medal awarded to Mr. Rainer Kohlstamm. Feldwebel Rainer Kohlstamm has been awarded the Iron Cross. Good for him. And we got a second medal. We got a medal. Uh, Iron Cross, first class. All right. And we get Mr. Hugo Hillenbrand. I know a Hugo Hildebrand, but I don't think he has anything to do with him. <laughs> That's our comet report. Yeah, Lilia, Duarzum and both were awarded to me, of course, because I'm awesome. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost him. We regret to inform that combat Rainer Kohnstamm Feldwebel has been seriously injured in combat with enemy forces. He will be unavailable for an extended peri uh, ex period of time. So he is out. Uh, I hope he will come back at some point. But until then we have to do without him. Uh, at least Manfred got home. Still turning on victories, still an ace. Rainer Kunstam. Okay, he's still in a roster, so I guess he's still okay. Yeah, he got the uh, Urka DH2 when he was around with me, flying around with me. And Hugo Hillenbrand. Let's just Google him. Hugo Hillenbrand. I'm saying you go. You, like, you would say you go if you're British. In German it's the uh, Hugo. The Hugo. Hildebrand Hugo. No, I don't want to look into the yellow sides. Hugo Hildebrand pilot. No. No Hugo Hildebrand. Alright. So I guess he's just a new guy. Is he bringing anything, anything with him? Like my awesome 9 kills here. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's going. It's going very well for me. I thought I will die on the first mission. Lembrand, 0 kills, but 29 missions. So he is veteran by game standards. At least I hope he is. Because those tend to live longer. Competent. Alright. Do I have something other than active? Just active. But nine victories. Nice. And the first time we fought a real combat in a real combat situation and not just <laughs> echoes. Oh well it, it wasn't a really good combat. But it was a combat nonetheless. <laughs> I'm happy. And so should you be! Actually no, no, now you should be sad. Oh it's ending now. 
Oh, but I promise there will be another part down the week. Down the week? Wasn't this week? Alright, see you.